Well, I did not see this coming, but maybe I should have because the Nintendo Switch killed it last year. For all the negativity, for all of the bad things that have been happening, even as recently as, I guess, today, yesterday, things just keep getting worse. I will say this. Nintendo is in the midst of one of the greatest periods of time in the company history when it just comes to pure sales. We have final sales data, or at least a little interesting sales fact about the Nintendo Switch in the UK, and then the final sales of uh for the final week of everything that matters in japan and my lord are we looking at some record-breaking sales all right before we get into that we are giving away a playstation 5 an xbox series x or a nintendo switch uh we're giving it away this month we might give away two of them if we can hit seventy thousand subscribers this month in fact we will give away two if we hit seventy thousand. uh but Otherwise, we will announce the winner of the current giveaway at the end of the month. To enter, go down into the description. It'll explain everything, and I wish everyone luck. All right. So, on Twitter, there is an analyst, a reporter out in the UK called Christopher Dring. He put up a tweet that says, In the UK last year, if you add every PlayStation 5 sold to every PlayStation 4 sold, to every Xbox Series sold, to every Xbox One sold, you would get pretty much how much Nintendo Switch systems sold. So what he's saying is Nintendo Switch sold as much as the cumulative sales of all other home consoles last year in the UK. Nintendo has traditionally not been a big performer in the UK. So yeah, Nintendo killed it. But they didn't just kill it in the UK. Now, US-wise, we're not going to have MPD data for December for a little bit still. But we do have the final week or so, final few days of Japanese sales charts. Uh, this comes directly from Famitsu. Now, Famitsu doesn't always give actual sales data, but they do during the holidays. And my lord, I, wow. Let's get into the software because this is equally impressive to the hardware. So here are the top 10 software. Momotaro Dentetsu Showa Hesse Rewe Mo Taiban. I'm, I'm sh pretty sure I butchered that. It's by Konami. The Nintendo Switch uh, version is at number one. So 459,243 units. Animal Crossing New Horizons is at number two, selling 202,132 units. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is at number three, selling 152,052 units. The Ring Fit Adventures at number four with 129,275 units. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is at 108,052. We have Pikmin 3 Deluxe at number six with 91,336. At number seven, we have Super Mario Party at 86,723. At number eight, we have Minecraft at 85,989. At number nine, we have Clubhouse Games, 51 Worldwide Classics at 85,027. And we have new Super Mario 3D All-Stars, all that jazz, at 70,144. Now, again, this is for last week's period through the end of the year. Uh, so it's kind of like a, basically the, the final week and like final eight or nine days of, of the year. But here's the thing. Here's where sales get even crazier. The Nintendo Switch. So 467,051 units over that eight to nine day period. The Switch Lite. That's right. It, well, that's that combined sales. Switch Lite sold 123,243 units. That means the combined sales of Switch and Switch Lite moved 590,000 units. Third place, PlayStation 4 with 30,482. Fourth place, PlayStation 5 with 18,129. Now they have the digital edition listed separately at number 5, selling 5,691. Then at number 6, we have the new 2DS LL, uh, which includes the 2DS. It's the last system being made by Nintendo. Uh, sold 1,372 units. At number 7, you had the Xbox Series X, selling 275. At number 8, you had the PlayStation 4 Pro at 112. And number 9 is the Xbox Series S at 64. So yeah, obviously the Xbox isn't doing very well. Not a surprise. Um, Xbox has never done well in Japan. 
PlayStation 5 selling less than the PlayStation 4. That's not good. But the Nintendo Switch, almost 600,000. Can you believe the Nintendo Switch is at almost 600,000 units sold in a week? How? Why? What? Uh, what is going on? I don't even... What is this? What is happening? I'm about to cry. Nintendo Switch, what is going on? Now, now that I'm actually looking at this further, I do want to update you a little bit. It's, a, it's December 21st through January 3rd. So it is a little bit more than a week. That is actually almost two weeks. So, still. That's 300000 a week. That's 9000 a week for PlayStation 5. Oh my god. Nintendo Switch is killing it. They own Japan. It's official. They own Japan. It's over. Everyone else should just pack them and go home. They're literally at almost 18 million units sold in Japan alone. They are going to pass 3DS. They are going to pass PlayStation 4. They are going to pass Wii. It's not... Well, they have already passed PlayStation 4. They're going to pass Wii. Switch might become the best-selling platform of all time in Japan. And it might oddly enough become one of the best selling if not the best selling in the uk are we looking at are we underselling switch i don't know this momentum is going to continue in 2021 there's a bunch of big games coming the momentum's not going to go anywhere not for at least a year maybe two who knows but the nintendo switch if it maintains its amazing rise its meteoric sales if it continues for another year another two years another three years are we looking at potentially the best-selling system of all time? Let's think about this for a moment. The best-selling system of all time is the PlayStation 2, which is like a fraction, just a small hair ahead of the DS. But think about this. It, the Switch is over 80 million. You can get another year in the books. Let's say now it's over 100 million. You get another year in the books. Let's say it's at 20, 125 million. And as a third year that it maintains these kind of sales, that would put it at the top. Nintendo Switch is killing it. Nintendo Switch is the most high-demand electronic device I've seen in such a long time. I don't even know how Nintendo, through a pandemic, was not only able to make this amount of Switches, but was able to convince people to buy this amount of Switches. Yes, all of video games did pretty well during the pandemic so far. But Nintendo is the clear-cut winner. I mean, even in the United States, Nintendo Switch games are basically dominating the top 10 for the year in the United States on Amazon. Uh, I think it's like 9 or 8 of the top 10 games are all Switch games. Obviously, Animal Crossing at the top. This is insane. I don't even know what else to say other than good for you, Nintendo. Good for you. Good for you. All right, folks. I am Nathaniel Ruffle Chance from Nintendo Prime. That might be the last video today. We'll see. Might sneak in one more. There's just so much good stuff to talk about, guys. There just really, really is today. In fact, screw it. I got one more video coming for you guys. Special. A little later today. Maybe, maybe tonight would be more accurate. All right, folks. I'll catch you guys in the next one.